Suidaga company has to prepare two special designer dresses for Garba event. Their unique dress designs are always in demand by the young couples who participate in Garbil event competition. The profit contribution of male dresses is $75 per unit and of female dresses is $80 per unit. Right, so male $75, female $80. A total of 7 hours are required to stitch a male dress. 7 hours, 3 hours. Nice. Silk is required to prepare a male dress and a female. Silk required to prepare male dress is 4 meters and 5 meters respectively. This is 4 meters, this is 5 meters. And so this is profit, this is time. This is silk required. Nice. To produce the dresses, the total available labor hours are 59. Total available is 59. The total availability of silk is 60 meters. Nice. Lovely. They would like to produce male and female dresses as per the available resources in such a way as to maximize profits. Oh, nice. Time required. Beautiful. So we want to maximize. So we want to figure out how many units of this and how many units of this they make within these constraints, like a like an OR problem, like an operations research problem. What is the maximum they can do? Right? So very enticed. And look at this question. 59 and 60 are almost nearby. And so I would look to figure out which gives better returns and attack that. I'm tempted by this 3R thing based on the labor required. My gut feel is I should produce everything in female dresses. Brilliant. 59 by 3 is more than 19. I can produce 19 units of female dresses. And so I'm going to think from there, from that point of view. So I can produce 19 female dresses based on the hours. If I take all the hours and put it into female dresses, because only 3 hours required. Brilliant, right? So that works. But I can't produce 19 units because if I produce 19 of them here, then I, I don't have enough material to produce 19 dresses. 60 by 5 is only 12. And so I cannot produce more than 12 female dresses. And so, so maximum number of dresses I can produce is 12 female. So I, let me think, start from there. 12 female dresses. Nice. If I produce 12 female dresses, 12 into 3, 36 hours I'll take. So many hours are free. I've run out of cloth, so, much, so many hours are free. I can produce more of this. If I my hours being free are going to go waste. So therefore, I can produce this as well. Sacrifice this and go for this. My first instinct was to say, let me produce more and more of female dresses because it takes only 3 hours to prepare. So it's the best case scenario. 59 by 3 is more than 19. I can produce 19 units of this. But I can't produce 19 units of this because I won't have the material. So I realize the constraint is here. 60 by 5 is 12. 60 by 4 is 15. So if I take all of this and produce boy dresses, I can produce 15 of them. I won't have the number of hours for 15 male dresses. That's not possible. Not? But I'm, now I'm getting to a method. What is the limiting number here? 19, 59 by 3. 59 by 7 is 8 something. It's 15, this is 12. I can produce 12 dresses, all female, make my money. Or I can produce 8 dresses, all male, make my money. If I produce 12 female dresses, then I'm using only 36 hours. I have 23 hours remaining that go waste with which technically I could have produced some, some goods here. And so I'm going to say, hey, maybe I can find a mechanism to use that time. 23 hours are, are, are going waste. So I'll sacrifice some female dresses and go here. Instead of 12, I'll look to leave some and get here. Right? If I produce 11, 11 into 5 is 55. I can produce one here. That's not good enough. One 5 meter dress I'm leaving to get one 4 meter length. 11 to 5 is 55. 
plus 459 meters, wasting 1 meter and I am producing 1 extra, instead of this I am producing 1 of this, my profit may even go down, not good enough. If I produce 10, I can produce 2, not good enough, I shall have 2 meters remaining. I, suppose I drop this by 4, 4 into 5 meters is 20 meters, I can make 5 of these, I will jump to that point because only then I make an extra item, I make 8 of these and 5 of these. That is possible. 8 fives are 40, 4 into 5 is 20, 60 meters I've got. That could be something to look at because with this I'm making an entire one item more. Instead of 12 units, I'm making 13 units. That could mean something. That could be significant. So if I did that, what will I do? Do I have the hours to do this? 8 into 3 is 24. Nice. 5 into 7 is 35. 35 hours I'll use spend here. 24 hours I'll spend here. 35 plus 24 is 59. Just there. It's a beautiful combination. Right at the extreme. Straight away I'm sensing I can't do any better than this. If I sacrifice this to get more of this, I'll run out of time. And so, this automatically I'm, I feel like I've got the best combination because I'm using all my material, I'm using all my time. I'm not wasting anything. I'm maxing out everything else. And I know my best returns are to be found here because the hours are fewer. I can't do more than five of this. Seven hours are being taken for one man. So done. So eight of these and five of these. What are the profit made? Eight into 80 plus five into 75. So eight into 80 is 640 dollars. Five into 75 is 375 dollars. Add this up. This is five, four plus seven, 11, one, seven plus three, 10, 1015 dollars. That's there, brilliant, that's a choice. I'm very confident because I'm using 59 hours and I'm using 60 meters completely, nothing goes waste. And I have more female dresses than, than male dresses. Any other combination is going to waste something, some material, somewhere. This is beautiful. I'm very confident that this is the answer. 1015 is the profit I made. Super question. The key thing is to say, okay, where is my limiting constraint? The first thing you have to say is, okay, three hours. So, so from the timing point of view, Making female dresses the best decision. So, but I can't make 19. I run out of material. Okay, my material becomes the constraint. I can make 12 of these or 15 of these totally. But if I can't really make 15 of these because more than 8, I don't have hours to make it. The maximum number of uh, male, what is this dress? Male designer dresses I can make is 7. I don't have, is 8. I can't make 9 male dresses because I run out of hours. So I know that instead of this being maximum 12, with this being few, it's a good starting point. After that, I'm thinking, can I replace some female dresses with male and see if I can utilize the time better? This combination works, eight and five, that's our answer. Brilliant.